struggle for Lorene Mara from Hatch End to come up with the perfect present for her friend who was in an unhappy marriage. But she finally decided that divorce vouchers were the answer for advice at a North London firm, usually charging £325 an hour. It doesn't have to be one person that buys the voucher. It can be a group of 10 or 20 of you that put together and I think some solid legal advice would be much more useful than another hand cream. But the Church of England has expressed its concern at the divorce voucher scheme, which it says does nothing but cheapen the institution of marriage. I'm quite sad about it. Um, I think that, uh, that really the church is in the business of encouraging people to live out their marriage vows as fully as possible, um, whilst recognising that marriage can be tough at times. And we'd want to encourage people to try and resolve difficulties within marriage in a positive way that puts a marriage back together. But if that isn't possible, then to begin the process of a divorce in as an amicable way as possible. Vanessa Lloyd-Platt is the lawyer behind the divorce voucher scheme. She says her aim is to help couples and provide a service. If we'd simply said to people, buy these to ensure that your friends and family got divorced, I could understand the criticism, but that's not what we're doing. We're trying to help, and by the numbers of people that are buying them, we clearly are serving a need. The beginning of January is when the highest numbers of people seek a divorce, and the vouchers are said to be selling very well. Sarah Harris, BBC London News. With me now is the broadcaster and journalist Lowry Turner and divorce lawyer Alan Kaufman. Firstly, uh, Lowry, you've been through a divorce. Yeah. Would you have appreciated your friends giving you a divorce voucher? Actually, I'd have appreciated anybody giving me any amount of money because divorce is very, very expensive. And actually, I think that it's also, when you, when you have to approach it, the legal side is quite scary. And this scheme means that you can go somewhere, see a lawyer for a certain period of time. You don't worry how much it's going to cost you because you know how much it will cost you. It's simple and it makes it seem accessible. It's not the subtlest of gifts, though, is it, really? No, it's not the most subtle of gifts, but I think it's quite a sensible thing. I mean, you know, some people give women oven gloves and, you know, pressure cookers for Christmas. I actually think it's more likely to be a girlfriend giving it to a girlfriend. I don't think it's going to be your brother-in-law handing it over on Christmas morning, is it? Alan Kaufman, you're a divorce lawyer. What do you think of this idea? Is it a, a marketing gimmick or is it a trick that you might have missed? I certainly don't think it's a trick that I might have missed. I mean, it's, it's certainly innovative, there's no question about that, but it is a gimmick. It's, it's like a lost leader to get business in, and I know Vanessa Lloyd Platt and her firm, she's a capable divorce lawyer, but I think it's something that nearly all the divorce lawyers I've spoken to uh, will not be doing. We, we don't like it. I mean, we're talking about something which is extremely serious, extremely distressing for everybody going through it, and it trivialises the whole idea of the but, divorce process. But isn't it a way into something that can be quite difficult to understand. It can be very complicated, it can be very stressful. This might just give somebody an extra impetus to go and talk to a divorce lawyer about what the future might hold for them. My experience is that when people sadly have got to the point they need legal advice, there are lots of people they can turn to as to who they would recommend, who they might go and see. And of course, you're dealing with a subject where you need to have empathy with the person you're seeing. If you're given a divorce voucher from one firm, you don't know this person, you go there, that person wants you to come and give the whole case to them, maybe totally the wrong person for you. Um, Larry, the Church of England says these tokens trivialise divorce. Do you agree? I, no, I think, I hate this argument but that divorce is too easy in this country. Only those who've never been divorced would regard it as easy. It is the most appalling process. And actually, I think that if before you jump, you could go and talk to a lawyer who would say, well, you'll lose the kids or you'll lose the house or, you know, it actually might persuade some people, you know what, I better try and make this work because it's not going to be an easy process at all. Actually, I would extend the thing and actually have, you know, vouchers for accountants tell people how much it will cost them to get divorced and they'll all stay married. The emails we've had today have been from lots of people saying, cut out the middleman here, give them vouchers for something like Relate or some kind of marriage guidance. I mean, do you ever advise people to, look, you're, you're too far ahead here, go away, try and sort this through? All good divorce lawyers, when they see a client for the first time, don't look at taking on a big divorce case. They look at the people involved, and if they think the marriage has got a chance of surviving or the person you're dealing with actually needs counselling, you absolutely give them names of counsellors, be it relate or people you know, always as a first um, step. Larry, Larry, it's a difficult week this week uh, for, for divorce. Is it, would, you, would your advice be find some advice? Um, I would say find some advice. I'd say one thing, that which, if you think the rows stop when you get divorced, they don't, they only get worse because you've got no reason to get along together.
Thank you very much for talking to us this evening, Larry Turner and Alan Kaufman.